хотел спросить, можно ли как-то научиться вовремя распознавать в себе гордость? Гордыню, да? Ага. Можно. Можно ли как-то научиться вовремя распознавать в себе гордость? Гордыню? Ага. Потому что такое качество, которое сложно заметить в себе. It's difficult sometimes to find to understand when one is becoming proud. So uh, if you can please give us some advice how to understand in advance that some pride is burning in our heart and how to deal with it. Yes. If uh, you are not having the darshan of Krishna, you are proud. That's how you can help. If you are uh, In Maya, then you will be proud, for sure. Mm-hmm. So Krishna is like the sun, Maya is like darkness. If you are not seeing Krishna, you will be in Maya. If you are in Maya, then you will have pride. So the question is, how to temper the pride and keep it under control and that it does not get out of hand? And the, the key is to associate with advanced devotees. Because advanced devotees are very great and when we come in their presence we cannot be proud because we are nothing in comparison with them. We become proud when we surround ourselves with persons who are not as qualified as us. Persons who are younger, persons who are less educated, persons who are less beautiful, whatever the quality is that is less, if we are with those persons, then we'll compare ourselves And we'll always think that we are best. So, we have to seek out the superior Vaishnavas, by which we feel like I don't know anything, I am completely foolish. And we try to serve them. And then we have the Abhiman I am Das. If we cannot always have their association when we are not with them, but we go on a mission serving them. So we keep the Abhiman I am Das Anu Das wherever we go. Mm-hmm. So uh, this is the key to overcome pride. What is the uh, difference between words Damba, Pratishtha and Puja? Mm. Damba really means a duplicity. Damba means Whereas Pratishtha means uh, status. And uh, Puja means that others should actively uh, worship you. So, uh, these are the distinctions. But they are connected together. As long as there is the desire for Pratishta, then the crookedness will not, the duplicity will not leave the heart. Another question? I have a question of my own and then a question sent by Mahushala Maharaj. Oh, in uh, Navadri? Yes. Ah. He's been following the Guru Tattva seminar and he's very, very happy and sends his gratitude because... Well, for your mercy. Is he following the new seminar on Nam Tattva? Yes, yes. This is very important. 
And uh, this, I missed it this Sunday because the festival was going on. Uh, but this coming Sunday, in a few days, we'll have part two of this uh, non tapu seminar. Mm -hmm. He's been following and sharing also with many of his brothers, and they are all they they all send their gratitude. I did not have any um, uh, internet connection, so um, can you contact Navita sure. and tell her for sure the non tapu will be at the same time this Sunday, mm -hmm. uh, which I think for the the South American devotees is uh, what eleven ten, ten in the morning. Yes. Then in the morning this Sunday. So um, so there can be a poster quickly. It should be mm -hmm. done today and advertised today because it's already what Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and it's coming soon. So make the promotion straight away. Okay. Okay, okay so this question is uh, should we consider as Siksha Gurus advanced devotees in spiritual practice or in this category uh, would all I mean, uh, a devotee or a non-devotee who reminds me of my instruction of my Diksha Guru, can they also fall into this category? It is an axiom in uh, Vaishnav life that we think all Vaishnavas are my gurus. Because those who are devoted to the Supreme Lord, um, we can learn from them. Then, out of many different devotees that you are here from and receive instructions, there should be at least one Shiksha Guru who are you are fully following. If the Diksha Guru is, uh, has left this world or is not available somehow or other. So one should be prominent. And but that that person who we call Shiksha Guru is not like only a conventional Shiksha Guru that I'm taking some teaching here or there, but one should consider that he is Krishna Swarup. So just as there is no difference between Krishna Rup and Krishna Swarup, so the Diksha Guru is the manifestation of Krishna Rup. And the Shiksha Guru is manifestation of Krishna Swarup. So one should see no difference between his Diksha Guru and Shiksha Guru. So the one Guru Tattva is manifested in two forms. One has given you mantra and introduced you to the Sambandha Gyan. And it, 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 of course in a general way. And if they have not introduced you to the Sambandha Gyan in a specific way, then the Shiksha Guru will... Uh, explain the things in a more specific way so you can develop the Vishesh Sambandha Gyan. So Vishesh Sambandha means your particular relationship. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and uh, my question is about the new names we have received from you. Uh, this, this, like, what should we do in our practical lives now that we have these new names? Uh, should we meditate upon these names or investigate a little bit on, on their meaning on, or on... Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. All the names of Krishna are beautiful. Mm -hmm. So you can investigate the meaning of your name and his name and his name because they're all Krishna's names <laughs> or rather on his name. Sometimes the names have some special significance. Like Mapu gave the name to Rupa uh, to Dabirkas Rupa. 
But uh, that is also the name of his uh, spiritual form, Rupa Manjari. Mm-hmm. Also, like my Parma Gurudev, his name was uh, Vinod Brahmachari. So he is the incarnation of Vinod Manjari. But that is not always the case. Uh-huh. Like um, Raghunath Das Goswami. He is a, a Rati Manjari. There is no Raghunath Manjari. <laughs> Raghunath is the name of Lord Ramachandra. So sometimes the spiritual name uh, is related has related to the internal form of the devotee. But it's somewhat rare. Mm-hmm. So it's always good to um, uh, remember and and think of the significance of Krishna's names so that when you hear them it, it reminds you of his qualities and pastimes. Quindi è sempre buono ricordare e sapere il significato dei nomi di Krishna così quando li ascoltiamo ci ricorderà dei suoi pastimenti e delle sue qualità. Just like in the morning we sing Bibavari Shesha it's just Krishna's names. Come noi ogni mattina cantiamo Bibavari Shesha lì sono solamente And Yashomati Nandana Brajabara Nagara and Jai Radha Madhava Kunji Bihai and so on. There are many kirtans that are just Nam kirtan. Once I met a sadhu from uh, the, uh, another sampradaya. He said, in your sampradaya you're always chanting the Nam kirtan, especially Hare Krishna. And that's very good for the beginners. But in our sampradaya mainly we do Lila kirtan. <laughs> the singing, actually, the song itself is describing the pastimes of Krishna. But uh, this idea is uh, wrong. Nam Sankirtan is the best. Because Nam includes Rup, Gun, Paraka, Lila, everything. And whereas a Lila Kirtan may be describing one Lila, but from a Nam Kirtan, every day new and new, newer Lilas can come. So, um, you can meditate on the part of the name which is Krishna's name and especially meditate on the second part, Das. <laughs> this is most important. <laughs> if you can just understand Das or Dasi, then you'll be attain perfection. <laughs> Guru never gives the name of Krishna with the uh, title at the end, Bogi. Enjoy it. <laughs> Krishna Bogi. <laughs> oh, Krishna Tyagi, one who gives up Krishna. <laughs> but this is the problem. We give up Krishna or we try to enjoy Krishna. <laughs> so try to understand what the meaning of Das is. Mahapu said, first to be liberated from all the bonds of the Maya and Karma. And then after that you become Das. E poi dopo quello diventate das servitori. Another question? Yes, Mara. I have one question about uh, Goralila. When Sucetanya Mahaprabhu told to Gadar Pandit that he could not come to Vrindavan, he could not cross, enter the boat and come with him to Vrindavan. So, if it was because 
it will be like an impediment for him to relish uh, his Radha Bhav, no? because if he go to Vrindavan, then Gadadhar Pandit being Radhika, he will have to take the part of Krishna, so he cannot experience uh, Radha Bhav Kuna is manifest. But I was thinking that this same same uh, same meeting of uh, Gadadhar Pandit and Goranga Mahaprabhu in Jagannath Puri is very favorable because she is speaking uh, Harikata, then Mahaprabhu be- take Radha Bhav, and he and Gadar Pandit become Lalita, for example. And can because help. in, in uh, Puri, <coughs> the actual Udipana of Vrindavan are hidden. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, it's actually not Vrindavan. Uh, but, so, seeing the things and being in above, then they go inside. Whereas when you go to Vrindavan and you look, it's actually Vrindavan. Hmm? Govardhan is there, Jamuna is there, all Dandagan, Varsan, everything is there. So there's a difference. Whereas in Puri, it's not actually Vrindavan, and the Mahaprabhu and Gadada Pandits, they are relating to each other like two Vaishnavas. E quindi quando eh, Mahaprabhu e Shilagata Darpan hai hai transito questo ah. perché lui ha chiesto in pratica perché ci danno nome per Bob Brindavan non si sarebbe manifestato il uh, Radha Bhav, il sentimento di Radha Rani, perché siccome sta con Gata Darpan, perché Gata Darpan è radica, poi lui quando sta con, con lui non riesce a entrare nel mood di Radha perché ce l'ha davanti. So Gata so, Darpan is Radha Rani, is not Radha Rani telling Krishna about her mood. Gata Darpan is a Vaishnava. On the pretext of speaking Srimad Bhagavatam, having Bhagavatam class together, huh? it is the same as Radharani teaching Krishna about her mood. But actually they're not uh, thinking like this. They are Vaishnavas and uh, Gitara Pandit is explaining the meaning of the verses of Srimad Bhagavatam. But it becomes uh, practically that's what's happening, that Krishna is learning from Radharani about her mood. And then in the Gambira at night with the Lita and Vishaka, now he's practicing being her. But if Gadara were in the Gambira, then it would be problematic because then you would have two Radharanis. Invece però quando Gadara e Chitanya Mahaprabhu fanno invece a Jagannath Puri, siccome non sono a Vrindavana, quando loro si incontrano, per loro è solo un incontro tra due devoti. Non è come se Krishna stesse con Radha, ma piuttosto Chitanya Mahaprabhu nel, nel mondo di un devoto sta con un altro devoto e ascolta lo Srimad Bhagavatam da lui e impara le cose sul mondo di Radharani. Poi quando va con la Lita e Vishaka nella forma di Swarup Damoda e Ramananda, nel Gambira lì non c'è Gadada Pani, e quindi lui può entrare pienamente nel mondo di Radharani. So, so already because Vrindavan, all the Udipanas of Vrindavan are directly there, already Vrindavan was bringing out Mahaprabhu's Krishna Bhav. And that's why he didn't stay for very long. So if Radharani had also been there, then it would have been, he would have brought that out more. Mentre invece se ci danno un gruppo che è a Brindavana, siccome tutti gli Udipana di Brindavana sono lì, Gorda, lo Yamuna, tutto quanto, allora lui si sarebbe ricordato di essere Krishna. Don't worry if you are struggling to catch it. It is very mysterious. When I first heard this explanation from my Guru Dai, I was, what? And I was trying to add everything up like mathematics, but it did not add up. <laughs> but I understood. My Guru Dev, every year for 60 years, he's doing bhajan in Vrindavan, then bhajan in Navadvip, and then bhajan in Puri, and back to Vrindavan, and going round three dams for 60 years, like that. So he understands the relationships between the dams. <laughs> Poi ho realizzato che il mio Guru Deva lui per 60 anni sta a Brindavana, fa il Bajana a Brindavana, poi va a Nava ha detto fa il Bajana a Nava, detto poi va in Puri, fa il Bajana in Puri e poi di nuovo a Brindavana, così per 60 anni, quindi lui ha realizzato qual è la relazione tra questi tre. And for many years I could not understand, but then as we mature in our Bajan, then oh yes. And you can experience it internally.
Uh, this week I have spoken on Sanat and Shifra. And we have explained many, many points. And uh, only a small fraction, I think, that you can catch. But it's important to, for you to hear the classes again, but sit down with Chaitanya Charmita and go through and look. Huh? And compare what you have heard with what is written there. Quindi penso sia importante che voi ascoltate le classi e poi andate sullo, sulla Cittania Charitamita e leggete e comparate quello che avete ascoltato alla classe con il punto di quel libro che stava And read it, recite it, speak it yourself. E noi dobbiamo leggere la Cittania Charitamita e recitarla a noi stessi. Because the reading which is done after hearing the subject matter is very beautiful. Perché il, quando noi leggiamo un libro dopo averlo ascoltato eh, durante la ricata poi è molto bella quella lettura. So always try Try to study uh, that uh, subject that you have just heard from your guru. Quindi sempre cercate di studiare quella materia che avete appena ascoltato dal vostro guru. Uh, then it will be more effective. Poi sarà avrà più effetto. So in Shrimad Bhagavatam it says, Tat Shrinvan Supatam Becharna Paro Bhaktya Vimuchenna Raha First hear and then read and recite and then deliberate on it then Parabhakti will come, transcendental devotion will manifest. Il nostro Nandavadam viene detto, prima leggi, poi prima ascolta dal Guru, poi leggi, poi recitalo, poi rifletti su questo e poi la Parabhakti verrà nel tuo cuore, la devozione. So, um, what I'm expressing is, there's a limit to our capacity to understand the Harikata. Quello che voglio esprimervi è che c'è In accordance with our level of Adhikar eligibility. C'è un limite nella nostra capacità di comprendere la Harikata e dipende dalla nostra eh, qualificazione. But still, you should try to understand and read around that. Però noi nonostante questo dobbiamo cercare di comprendere, ascoltare con pazienza e poi andare a leggere quello che abbiamo Srila Prabhupada used to say that mm, Bhagavad Gita is like a degree Sera Prabhupada diceva che la Bhagavad Gita è come un un grado and Srimad Bhagavatam is like masters e invece lo Srimad Bhagavatam and Chaitanya Charmrita is a PhD è come una laurea invece lo Srimad Bhagavatam Chaitanya Charmrita è dottorato dottorato so uh, those who are deeply absorbed in Srimad Bhagavatam they can appreciate Chaitanya Charmita. Because you can see, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is speaking to Sanatana Goswami. Sanatana Goswami is already a great scholar. When the king uh, arrested him, he'd been staying at home studying Srimad Bhagavatam with many pandits. Yeah. And his guru, Vidya Bhachaspati, was a very learned scholar, he used to come from Navadweep to stay in Ramkali and teach him. And uh, that means that Mahaprabhu did not have to explain everything. He would just quote a verse to illustrate something and then quote another verse to illustrate something. And, uh, and Srila Sanat Goswami knew the significance of that verse. Quindi Chaitanya Mahaprabhu non doveva spiegare di tutto, gli diceva solo un verso, poi ne diceva un altro perché lui conosceva il significato di quei versi. Mahaprabhu did not have to give the context of the verse, where, uh, uh, who, who it was spoken and to whom it was spoken and for what reason. Mahaprabhu non doveva dare ogni volta, ogni volta che dava un verso, il contesto del verso, da chi fu parlato, a chi, perché, in quale situazione. All of that was well known to Srila Sanatana Goswami. Tutto quello era conosciuto molto bene da Srila Sanatana Goswami. So on top of what he already knew, Mahaprabhu was putting many things together one after another. Quindi sulla cima di quello che lui già sapeva dello Srila Sanatana, Mahaprabhu aggiungeva delle cose, una sua parola. Even, actually, when Sanatana Goswami part posed his questions, Mahaprabhu said, you know the answer to these questions. Mm-hmm. But um, you are still asking these questions because it is the nature of the sadhu even to ask about subjects that he already knows for the um, dridata. Now, dridata means to make the knowledge that he has more firm. Però 
You can see. That's why I'm saying go back to Chidan and read through. You'll see all these words are there. Nonostante tu sai già le risposte a queste domande, mi fai comunque queste domande perché è un saldo che ha anche le cose a un altro saldo che già conosce, perché per, perché vuole fissare ancora di più questa dritta, da questa fermezza di quel principio nella propria coscienza. Uh-huh. So uh, what we have heard, try to read around it uh, because uh, we are in the beginning not like Sanatana Goswami. And so if you see Mahapu is quoting a verse from Bhagavatam, then look then go to the Bhagavatam and find it and read the whole chapter and the commentary to see what the significance is. Srila Jiva Goswami has written uh, six Sandarabhas. Which explains Srimad Bhagavatam, not in the order of the, the verses come in Srimad Bhagavatam, but under the headings of Sambanda, there are four Sandam Sandarbas on Sambanda, one on Abhidha and one on Prayoja. So, these verses also have a treatment, a different kind of treatment there by Jishila Jiva Goswami. Which kind of treatment? So, when I'm uh, the speaking Sanat and Shiksha, then as I come to each verse, I am explaining with uh, commentaries, Bhagavatam commentaries, sometimes Satsandarva commentary, like that, to give a broader picture of the verse. Or sometimes with the illustration from the songs of Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Or Srila Narthanda Thakur. So, uh, what you have heard, let's say you are reading another book like Manasiksha. So now don't think I'm reading Manasiksha now. No, you have just heard Sanat Shiksha now, come back and, and go over it for the Dridata, to make it uh, firm. And then you will receive so much more. When I first came to my Gurudev, and I was living with him in Keshuji Golimata in Mathura, he was speaking every day. And uh, I would write down everything in shorthand while he's speaking, not looking at my. <laughs> and then immediately after class, I would go to some of my senior uh, god brothers by Shiksha, like Bon Maharaj. They, they were all, all the Maharaj, Bon Maharaj, Madam Maharaj, Jethu Maharaj. We were all Brahmacharis there. Subha Saka Brahmachari, Navin Krishna Brahmachari, Subhananda Brahmachari. Those who had been hearing from my Gurudev for 15, 20 years more than me even. And we would sit down together and go through Gurudev's class again together. Mm-hmm. Uh, what did he say? Where is this verse from? Where is this sutra from? And then go in the li- library in the mat and fill in the notes and put in all the verses. And read them and memorize everything. Before the next day. Otherwise there will be a backlog. Uh, and do, we did this every day. Uh, so, uh, there's a, one famous uh, Sanskrit saying that one quarter of your knowledge, it's not exactly 25%, but it's just to, to give an idea, one quarter of the knowledge you get by listening to your guru. Another quarter you will get by your own study. Uh-huh. But because you are studying after hearing. 
Però solamente perché l'hai studiato dopo aver ascoltato la Another quarto you get by discussing it with your god brothers. E un altro quarto lo tieni nel discutere con i tuoi confratelli. And the last quarter you cannot get. E l'ultimo quarto non lo non lo puoi ottenere. You have to wait and in time you will realize it. Devi aspettare. And then you, that's how you get complete knowledge. E col tempo lo realizzerai. E questo è il modo in cui otterremo una conoscenza completa. Yes. Another question. Yes, yes. Buddha, once you told us that uh, real Rasik Vaishnav, even when he is uh, uh, hearing names like Ayagriva and Narayan and this name, he is actually realizing pastimes of Vrindavan and not that past. So do, every morning when we do our tila, you know, we, we recite these names. And I think mostly for all the devotees it means some, uh, some names uh, related to the Aishwarya of the Lord. They are the, we told in the class today. Mahaprabhu yes. taught Sanatana Goswami, yes. there's the first chapter of Yuga, mm-hmm. Raj, um, Vasudev, Sankasan, Prajamana, Aniruddha. Mm-hmm. Then from Vasudev comes Keshava, Keshava, mm-hmm. Narayan, Govinda, like this. So the order that you put on your tilaks is the first three names are from Vasudev, the next three names are from Sankasan, the next three names from Prajamana, the next three names from Aniruddha, mm-hmm. like this. And uh, so these are the names of the, what type of? Expansion uh, is uh, tad, it, tad ekat maru. Yes, it, yes, but that also has two parts. Vilas ru. Vilas ru. Yes. Yeah, understand? Mm-hmm. So that is the the uh, general meaning. Yes. But of course, if someone is rasik, they'll never remember these vilas ru. Yes. <laughs> Quindi noi di mattina ci facciamo questi nomi, che sono le prime, eh, sono tutti i nomi del Tirak, sono tutti i nomi delle prime espansioni che vengono da Vasudeva, poi le prime che vengono da Niruza, da Pradyumna e da Sankarsha, però questi nomi in realtà eh, provengono, sono i nomi delle Vilas Rup, ma un devoto veramente avanzato non pensa mai a quelle incarnazioni lì, ma sono tutti i nomi di Krishna che provengono da Krishna Vrindavana. <coughs> Then you can complete your question. Yes. So, is it because it's also good to know about the opulence of Krishna, but maybe in our path we should also relate these names to, to his Madhurya pastime and uh, think about that? Yes, yes. because uh, you should hear and you should know about the opulence of Krishna. Um, even Krishna in Vrindavan, he has more opulence than anyone. So that will also be sufficient to clean the heart. But if you'll focus, 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 again and again, doing every day, remembering all the Velas Murtis <laughs> in Vaikuntha, <laughs> then what you do again and again will make a samskar. Yeah. And then your impressions will go towards Vaikuntha. So in Mana Shiksha, uh, the Raghunath Daskaswami says, Api Chaktua Lakshmi Patim Iti Vyoma Nayanim. Oh my dear mind, uh, don't... Uh, give up, sorry, give up all attachment to Lord Narayan in Vaikuntha because you, it will take you there. Quindi noi ogni mattina ci facciamo questi dila che è molto buono conoscere le opulenze di Krishna perché ci purifica. Però se noi ogni mattina quando ci facciamo il dila che pensiamo alle incarnazioni di Krishna a Vaikuntha perché questi sono dei nomi che generalmente appartengono a loro come Vasudeva, questi nomi qui però noi in quel momento faremo una samskara molto forte e, e nel Manashik c'è scritto abbandona tutte le forme di Krishna a Vaikuntha come Narayana perché altrimenti se attaccamento a quelle poi andrai lì e non a Vrindavana. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Jaidev Goswami in Gita Govinda, he has spoken Das Avatar Stotram. And at the end of the uh, description of each of the avatars, it says, Keshavadrita, uh, Ragupati Rupa, Keshavadrita, Meena Sharira. Krishna has become the fish, Krishna has become the boar, Krishna has become the Shingadev. So when you see these various avatars or the discussion comes up, you always think, oh, this is Krishna playing. Mm-hmm. Quindi noi però ogni volta che sentiamo i passatempi di un diverso avatara o di una forma più opulenta di Krishna, noi però sappiamo che questo è solo un passatempo del Krishna Vrindavana, che per fare un gioco Krishna di Vrindavana è diventato quello lì. So in, in Gita Govinda there are 12 chapters and every chapter is named after one of the names of Krishna. Usually it's one of the opulent names. Ad esempio nella Gita Govinda ci sono 12 capitoli e ognuno di questi 12 capitoli finisce con un nome di Krishna che, eh, so, che è sempre relativo a una delle sue forme opulente. Per esempio, un chapter è chiamato Chatur, uh, Chatur Chatubuja. Esempio, That means very clever for arm form. 
Chatur Chatur Buddha, che significa una eh, molto intelligente forma di chi sa quattro braccia. Chatur is not like intelligence. Intelligence is, means like passing a maths exam. Uh -huh. Chatur means clever, cunning. Uh, no, furbo, non intelligente, furbo. Uh, someone can be very intelligent at mathematics, but they're not cunning. <laughs> they may be quite naive and autistic, uh, but not autistic. Uno può essere intelligente, però magari è un po' ingenuo e non è artistico, invece Krishna è anche questo. So, here Chatur Chatur Bhujo means clever or mm, cunning. Chatur Bhuj, forearm form, means when Krishna is embracing Radharani and Radharani is embracing Krishna, this form has four arms. <laughs> so, yes, devotees, when they say these names, then they'll remember how it relates to Krishna of Vrindavan. Quindi quando i devoti cantano questi nomi si ricordano di anche più alti luoghi di filosofia, gnosis, teosofia, nessuno conosce di voi. E questa è la prima domanda. E seconda, in precedente conferenza Grodeva diceva che i nostri samskari ci portano a provare sentimenti a volte, non tutti, però qualcuno di noi può provare sentimenti di avversione o attrazione in base di assomiglianza dalle vite precedenti persone che hanno, ci hanno dato esperienza negativa e esperienza positiva domanda eh, quindi eh, che dicano invece che so veramente persone con quali ci siamo incontrati nelle vite precedenti con quali facciamo esperienze più importanti nella vita attuale tipo relazioni mm. familiari o mm. eh, ruoli che si cambiano madre e figlia nella okay. prossima vita So, two questions. The first one is, uh, why, what is the plan of Sri Krishna that even if Shila Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the last avatar until now that came in this world, it's uh, almost unknown to the high people that study philosophy or theosophy or in the high circles of uh, mystical things and, and etc. They never speak about him. And the other question is, when we uh, find some person that we have attachment or aversion, it's because of our samskaras. But can it be sometimes, if it is a very strong atta attachment or aversion, that we already have had something to do with the same person? These are the two questions. Mm -hmm. So first one, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is uh, famous in India. All those who know about religion, they know that there was such a person, they may not accept him as God, but they accept that he has uh, popularized Harinam Sankirtan everywhere. And all the philosophers know him, or particularly because he did not write anything except for Shikshastakam, but his teachings as presented by the six Goswamis, all the philosophers know him. And, and uh, many persons in philosophy, they... they recognize Srila Jiva Goswami as the greatest uh, philosopher and most prolific philosopher also in history. Prolific and uh, more, uh, more... He's the, the, the um, most uh, elevated philosopher, but also prolific, because he wrote so much. And, uh, but uh, outside of India, uh, not so many people have heard yet, but they're hearing. 
Buono. Ma al di fuori dell'India non molte persone hanno ancora sentito di lui, ma piano piano stanno iniziando ad ascoltare. The name of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is spreading everywhere. At least people have heard this Hare Krishna. Everyone knows Hare Krishna now. Il nome di Chaitanya Mahaprabhu si sta diffondendo piano piano ovunque, anche se tante persone non conoscono il suo nome, però la parola Hare Krishna la conoscono. Until the late 60s and early 70s no one had heard Hare Krishna in the West. Prima degli anni 60 e 70 nessuno sapeva questa parola Hare Krishna. Now everyone has heard Hare Krishna, even though they may not have a clear idea of what it's about. Mentre adesso tutti quanti conoscono la parola Hare Krishna, anche se non hanno un'idea precisa di cosa sia. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was here only 500 years ago. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu era qui solamente 500 anni fa. So uh, already his fame spread throughout India and his teaching at least has spread Uh, in a rudimentary form all over the world. And, but uh, among uh, New Age teachers and things like that, they don't know because they are unfortunate. Ma tra coloro che seguono le culture, le filosofie New Age e queste cose così, loro la maggior parte non lo And conoscono very often sono they are not deep even in their own tradition. E molto spesso loro non sono profondi neanche nelle loro proprie tradizioni. Like many people, they uh, practice yoga. Come tantissime persone nel mondo praticano yoga. But they don't know the history of yoga. Ma loro non sanno qual è la storia dello yoga. They don't know the yoga sutras of Patanjali. Non conoscono i yoga sutra di Patanjali. Some of them know. Alcuni, alcuni lo sanno, ma pochi. And uh, most of the yoga schools they're coming from like uh, Iyengar yoga and Vinyas yoga and these lines from Iyengar and uh, uh, Krishna Namacharya. E la maggior parte delle scuole di yoga vengono da Krishna Namacharya e Iyengar. But happy joys, right? These are the, the main lines that became famous uh, in the yoga schools in, in the West. But they don't know even their own history, their own parampara. Uh, Iyengar's uh, guru was uh, Krishna Namacharya. And he said he went to the Himalayas and met one Brahmachari there who was his guru. E lui disse che andò in Himalaya e incontrò un Brahmachari lì che diventò il suo guru. But no one, uh, he's the only person who ever heard of him, no one heard of that person. Ma lui è so only a couple of generations and already we cannot find this Prampara. Ma lui è l'unica persona che ha, che sa chi, nemmeno lui sa chi, cioè nessuno sa chi è questo Brahmachari, quindi se vai a due generazioni prima già non si sa che origine ha questa vita. And from his guru he said he learned one book about yoga asanas. E lui dice che dal suo guru ha imparato un libro sullo yoga asana. But he memorized it and no one has ever seen a copy of this book ever. In the mm-hmm. But when he was young, he was staying, uh, Ayengar was staying in the palace of the king of Mysore. And there, some uh, British gymnasts were teaching exercises calisthenic stretching and body weight exercises. E lì c'erano alcuni diciamo dei degli atleti che insegnavano a a coloro che abitavano alla corte insegnavano delle delle della fisicultura. And most of the exercises and postures and everything which are taught in that line they actually coming from this book. Uh, the British military exercise manual. <laughs> Quindi in realtà la maggior parte delle mosse che lui fa nei suoi corsi di yoga eccetera vengono da questo manuale di eh, esercizi atletici per i militari inglesi, dell'impero inglese. Eh? And then he gave these uh, exercises some Sanskrit names. E poi ha dato a questi vari tipi di esercizi un nome in sanscrito. Uh, even Surya Namaskar. Persino Surya Namaskar. Yeah. This is what's coming from this exercise manual. Let's call it bowing down to the sun. <laughs> Then in the, in the early 1960s he went to England. Some scholars there told him. 
Oh, have you read the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali? Alcuni scolari gli dissero, oh, ma hai letto lo Yoga Sutra di Patanjali? Said, no. E lui disse, no. They gave him a copy. Allora gli diedero una copia. So then he looked and then he put these exercises together with that and it became Light on Yoga. Oh, the book. E poi lui Light on Yoga. 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 Light on There are only two sutras about asanas. Huh? But now it became all about asanas. And then put a little pepper, some spices from Patanjali in it there. So the 99% of what is practiced in the, in even those who are doing yoga think this is the bona fide tradition was invented in the 1930s. was invented in the 1930s. So, if you don't believe me, I can show you. I, I have the copy of the exercise manual and everything. <laughs> I can show you the old books from the library of the King of Mysore. I have a photograph of them. So why am I saying this? Because you're saying, what, these New Age people and this, they don't know about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Perché voi mi chiedete perché queste persone New Age e tutto il resto non conoscono di Cittadina Mabro? They themselves are so in the darkness of ignorance, even about what they themselves are doing. <laughs> so if they don't know about a bona fide tradition, when we know all of our gurus for thousands of years, and if they don't know about that, if they don't know about that, this does not reflect badly on us. <laughs> Perché loro mm -hmm. in realtà sono, sono nelle tenebre dell'ignoranza persino per quanto riguarda la stessa tradizione che seguono loro. Quindi se loro hanno ignoranza riguardo alla nostra tradizione non è una cosa che ha delle cattive eh, impressioni su di noi perché loro neanche la tradizione loro non conoscono. They're ignorant about their own tradition only the last hundred years history. Less than hundred years. Loro sono ignoranti della loro stessa tradizione persino non conoscono cosa è successo nella loro tradizione nell'ultimo tempo. So, if they don't know about us, then surprise, surprise. Quindi se non conoscono riguardo noi, beh, allora che sorpresa. It's not a big thing. Non è una cosa grande. But we should know that the Kali Yuga has just started. Ma noi dovremmo sapere che il Kali Yuga ha appena iniziato. It's a 432,000 years. E durerà 432,000 anni. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu just came 500 years ago. E Chaitanya Mahaprabhu venne giusto 500 anni fa. His shoes, his water pot, his cloth, his asana, everything is still there in Puri, you can see it. Le sue scarpe, i suoi vestiti, tutto quanto è lì a Puri, se mai andate potete vedere. The writings of the six Goswamis, you can go to the museum in, in Vrindavan and see the handwriting. E le scritture dei sei Goswami potete andare al museo di Vrindavana e vedere le loro scritture che loro hanno scritto a mano. You can see the legal documents, how the king of... Uh, Uh, Jaipur, Rajasthan, he gave the Radhakund land to um, Raghunath Das Goswami. So, it's a relatively recent history. So, the fact that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's teachings already spread around uh, um, India and as a cultural phenomenon is it now known Krishna consciousness around the world is uh, in a short time it's something to be expected quindi il fatto che non sia molto conosciuta in un tempo breve è da aspettarselo anzi è comunque una cosa positiva che molte persone conoscono della coscienza di Cristo a few years ago in Velletri no one knew Chaitanya Mahaprabhu qualche anno fa per Velletri nessuno sapeva riguardarci and now there's so many very dedicated to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu e adesso ce ne sono tanti molto dedicati a Chaitanya Mahaprabhu so this is Pratyak Praman direct perception and sense perception proof proof of direct percent by direct perception questa è la prova della percezione diretta So gradually, Mahapu said that Pratibhichi Yata Adjis Nagarad Gran Savata Pracha Hoiba Mora Manam. My name will be known in every town and every village in the whole world. And we see that it's gradually becoming true. Mahaprabhu disse che gradualmente il mio nome diventerà conosciuto in ogni villaggio e ogni città del mondo e vediamo che piano piano questo sta avvenendo. Also, this is one thing about female mentality is it can be true if many people believe it. 
anche una cosa della mentalità femminile è che una cosa può essere vera se tante persone yeah. lo credono the female mind is very influenced by the social pressure perché la mente femminile è molto influenzata dalla pre- pressione sociale. So the popularity of or unpopularity of something is irrelevant to the value of that object. Però la popolarità o l'impopolarità di qualcosa è irrilevante rispetto al valore di quella cosa. Mm-hmm. It's very easy to um, sell um, fake jewels in the marketplace because the general people cannot discriminate, discriminate between a fake jewel and a real jewel. È molto facile vendere dei gioielli falsi nel mercato perché le persone ordinarie non possono discriminare tra un gioiello vero e uno falso. So the common people cannot discriminate between some uh, new age idea that was just invented a few years ago and some eternal reality. Quindi le persone in generale non possono discriminare tra qualche idea new age che è stata inventata qualche anno fa o una realtà eterna. Can you imagine our Goswami is staying in Vrindavan? At night they take dry leaves and set fire to them to have enough light to write their books, scratching the Sanskrit letters onto palm leaves. Even in their own lifetime, no one knew what they had written except for the people who were living with them and, tell, and they told face to face, living in the forest. Mm-hmm. Then the next generation, Naratam Shrinivas and Shamananda, they took all the manuscripts on a bullock cart, slowly, slowly, all the way, a few thousand kilometers, all the way to Bengal, where there are many scribes to have them copy everything by hand. E poi nella prossima generazione Shirana Rottam da Stagur e Shinivas e i loro associati sono, hanno preso un, un carro e ci hanno messo sopra tutti questi manoscritti dei sei Goswami e li hanno portati tante tante migliaia di chilometri fino in Bengala dove era l'unico posto dove potevano darle a degli scribi per fare diverse copie e distribuirle. So even at the time of Shila Bhakti Nautakur It was very difficult to find a copy of Chaitanya Charitamrita. Persino ai tempi di Shila Bhaktina Thakur, che era un secolo e qualcosa fa, era molto difficile trovare, era molto difficile trovare una copia della Chaitanya Charitamrita. All these books of the Goswamis, all these the jewels of transcendental knowledge were written on palm leaves. Tutti questi, scratched onto palm leaves. Tutti questi libri dei Goswami, questi libri di conoscenza trascendentale erano scritti e graffiando su delle foglie di palma. So once the printing press had been invented and then also imported to India, then Srila Bhaktinoda Thakur and Srila Bhaktisdan Sotaks, this is the Briyat Madanga, look, we can make so many Chaitanya Chandra readers, they were so happy and begin to distribute them. E non appena eh, la stampa fu inventata, i macchinari da stampa e furono, portati, furono importati in India, appena questo successe, lì c'erano Shila Bhakti Nodagur e Shila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakur, preoccupati, loro erano molto emozionati e, 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 e erano molto contenti, guarda, finalmente con questi possiamo stampare tantissime copie della Cetania Charitamrita. And even then, they had to make typeset each letter by hand with a metal letter and put it backwards in the thing for the and then printing like this each page e persino a quel tempo per fare ogni pagina so hard per fare per stampare ogni pagina dovevano mettere tutte le lettere di tutta la pagina al contrario questi tasselli di metallo e, e quindi scrivevano tutta la pagina sulla stampa e poi premevano e poi facevano un'altra pagina e quindi ogni pagina era un lavoro mm-hmm. era un lavoro lungo if you want to oh where is that verse I don't know this book is 18,000 verses you go <laughs> now you just go down your phone and type in the first word and it comes up All Chaitanya Charitamrita. Fino a poco phone. tempo fa, se voi volevate trovare un verso, voi dovete, dovevate andare a cercare tra i libri con, con migliaia, centinaia di migliaia di versi, mentre adesso noi abbiamo i telefoni, puoi solamente mettere la parola di un verso so, e ti appare tutto. It took a generations of very hard work to just build up a spiritual community based on uh, the teachings of our Goswamis. E ci mise molto, ci volette molto tempo solamente per creare una piccola spiritual, eh, comunità spirituale basata sui insegnamenti dei nostri Goswami. Mm. So it's an intergenerational project. Quindi è un progetto che per andare avanti ha bisogno so di passare. Don't worry that everyone doesn't know about Mahaprabhu. 
What has been achieved so far is tremendous, tremendous achievement. Quindi non preoccupatevi se nessuno conosce Cetania Mabrabu, quello che è stato ottenuto fino ad ora è un è stato una cosa veramente grandiosa. Actually our chariots are so powerful. Any one of them could have made the whole world know about Cetania Mabrabu. Mi raccomando, se la chiara sono così potenti, ognuno di loro avrebbe potuto far conoscere Cetania Mabrabu a tutto il mondo. But they are so kind that they left some work for us. Ma loro sono così gentili che hanno lasciato del lavoro per noi. That by doing this work we will become purified and develop love for Krishna. Che facendo questo lavoro noi ci purificheremo e svilupperemo amore per Krishna. So you should be grateful that everyone doesn't know otherwise you would have no occupation no service. Noi dobbiamo essere grati del fatto che nessuno conosce ci danno amore per Krishna perché non avremo nessun servizio da fare. Another thing is you should know Uh, that this universe is very insignificant. Uh-huh. Now, Shri Laharadas Thakur said, give me the bad karma, of, and good karma also, of everyone in the universe. Let me suffer and let them all be liberated. Haridas Thakur said to Mahaprabhu. So Mahaprabhu said, if there's a bag of mustard seeds, a sack of mustard seeds, yeah? How many mustard seeds are in a big sack of mustard seeds? E si la madre poi disse se c'è un sacco di semi di mosta di sesamo So, so from the big sack of mustard seeds, if one mustard seed will fall out, what is this? So, if everyone in one universe is liberated, it is like that. Uh, but in transcendental Golok, uh, there is Navadweep, there are unlimited living entities there, they all love Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Ma nel mondo trascendentale c'è Navadrip, questo pianeta spirituale dove ci sono infinite entità viventi che hanno puro amore per Cetania Mabra. So if a few people in this mustard seed where we are living they don't know, it's not a big thing. Quindi se un po' Mabra who is still more famous than anyone you know here. Quindi se, se, un po <laughs> se in questo seme di eh, se in questo seme di mostarda pochissime persone conoscono Cetania Mabra può non fa niente perché in realtà Cetania Mabra è molto più famoso di chiunque in tutto questo. He's still infinitely more famous than Michelangelo or Mussolini <laughs> or Julius Caesar or any other Italian people <laughs> in this little mustard seed. <laughs> so we have to see things from the transcendental and eternal perspective. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's enough questions for today.